Okay, now for question number one from Pure Mathematics 2, practice paper A, which is a paper that I um, compiled myself from various sources, including the new A-levels in England and the UK, the, um, the new LXL exams there as well. So I've taken the things that are relevant to um, the IAL syllabus. So this is the new um, P2 for which there's no past paper apart from the specimen papers and the sample assessment papers. So I'm making my own few papers as well and um, I'm going to go through those. So here we have a question about logarithms, question number one. And, and we're asked here to find any real values of x such that 2 log to the base 4 of 2 minus x minus log to the base 4 of x plus 5 equals 1. Now, here we're going to use the laws of logarithms to try to solve this equation. And when we have a situation like this, we're trying, what we're trying to do is we try to bring all the log terms together into one log term, which you can do if they have the same base quite easily. And they do have the same base, log to the base 4, both of them. But before I can combine these together, I've got to get rid of these multiples that, like this 2 here. So what I can use is I can use a power law. Okay, so we, we know, for example, A log B can be written as log B to the power of A. Okay, like to any base, whatever it is. Okay, so that can be written as log to the base of something b to the power of a. So that 2 can go up there. So I can write this as log to the base 4 of, in brackets, 2 minus x squared minus log to the base 4 of x plus 5 equals 1. Now I can use the laws of logarithms. Okay to um, continue this, um, I know that, I'll just put this little line, that I'll do it with a proper line, okay, just so you can s s um, separate my steps, just to show you, now we know that log to the base A minus log of something to the base, um, log to the base A of something, sorry, do it properly, say log to the base a of b minus log to the base a of c can be written as log to the base a of b over c. This is a subtraction law. Okay, As long as they're the same base, you can do that. So here, I can rewrite this as log to the base 4 of 2 minus x squared over x plus 5, and that's going to equal 1. And we can use the fact that, for example, log to the base a of b um, equals c can be rewritten as a to the power of c equals b. The base is this, this is the power, this is the result. So this is the base, 4 to the power of 1 equals, you can say 4 to the power of 1 is equal to all of this, 2 minus x squared over x plus 5. This is 2 minus x squared like that, sorry. Be careful. Okay, I was about to make a silly mistake there. Okay, now we can multiply both sides by x plus 5. So you have 4 times x plus 5 equals, and you're going to have 2 minus x all squared. So let me just do it step by step. So this will give you 4x plus 20 equals, and this is going to be 4 minus 4x plus x squared. When you expand this bracket, 2 minus x times 2 minus x, you get this. Okay, now let's bring everything onto one side. So this side I'll leave with 0. This side I've got x squared minus 8x and minus 16. Okay, for this now I can try to solve. I don't think we can solve it using factorizing numbers that have different signs multiplied to give you 16. And the difference between them is 8. No. 4 and 4, no way, to 8 and 2, um, no, I don't think there's any way. So we have to use um, either completing the square or using the quadratic formula. I'm going to complete the square, so I have x squared minus 8x equals 16. That's what I'll do, get, this, get rid of that 16 first. Then I'm going to write my square bracket, take away the uh, half of the coefficient, and then the square of that number inside, so you end up with x minus 4 squared equals 32. Okay, so that means x minus 4 
will give you plus or minus the square root of 32. So x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of... Now this is like 16 times 2, so you can write that out in a simplified third form. So x will basically equal 4 plus or minus 4 root 2. Now, it would seem that that would be our answer, both of those, but we have to... When we're dealing with logarithms, remember the log of something can never... You cannot have the log of a negative number, okay? Inside here must always be a positive number. So what we need to do is we need to check to see are any values of our x. We have x is equal to 4 plus 4 root 2 and we have 4 minus 4 root 2. Okay, those are the values we found when we solved the equation. But we have to say are they valid answers? Okay, so we're going to check to see if they, if let's look at log to the base 4 of 2 minus x okay and log to the base 4 of x plus 5 okay so let's let's try and see what happens so log to the base 2 of 4 minus x and log sorry log to the base 4 log to the base 4 of and we got to x plus 5 let's see when we put these values of x in there what happens Okay, um, this is definitely going to become negative. This is going to make this negative because we're going to have 4 minus 4 and minus 4 root 2. So this can ne cannot be a value that's acceptable. In this case, you're going to have 4 minus 4 plus 4 root 2. So this is okay for this one. Here, x plus 5. So 4 plus root 4 root 2 plus 5, that's okay. And 4 minus 4 root 2 plus 5, that's also okay. Okay, so this cannot be one of our answers because it makes uh, one of the log the, the, you'll have to find the log of a negative number which is undefined so therefore we only choose x equals 4 minus 4 root 2 as our only solution okay so when you're dealing with logarithms always always when you find your final answers check to see do they cause you to get the log of a negative number if they do you can't accept that solution because it won't be a real solution it will be undefined Okay, so that's something you've got to be really careful about in logs. Okay, and there we have the end of that question.